Well, that thing is new. What is that thing, man? Six hour, five five six, R. R. R doesn't stand for pirate. R. R stands for Russian matey. Yeah. Soviet Russia. Seven six two by thirty nine. We're gonna be running some Tula ammo through it today. Junk. Yeah. Soviet's junk. Absolutely, man. Well, hey, let's go ahead and throw some lead down range. Very nice. And that thing just commands. But uh, no, seriously, let's uh, let's go ahead and safe that gun and uh, talk about some of the uh, features that we got here. So right off the bat, um, yeah, I mean, you got like a uh, basic AK group here, it looks like, but uh, it, you have like HK safety controls. Yeah. It, is that what I see in? Yeah, so this thing's just basically um, uh, a conglomeration between AR, AK, and HK, in essence. So um, originally this weapon was designed to be able to mix all of all of uh, the good parts between those uh, three different rifles. So, in essence, what you have, you have the internals of an AK, one of the most reliable weapons in the world. Uh, in addition to the uh, controls um, of HK and a little bit of AR, both ambidextrous uh, uh, safeties. Um, in addition to, um, you have the uh, Picatinny rail of an AR and also HK, um, which is which is one of the major differences between this and an AK. Whereas you can't mount um, anything on top of an AK just because it's made of tin foil. Right. So, so you basically have a basic dust cover right here on an AK that you mm -hmm. really and they do come. They do have some dust covers that have rail on top of them, but they're not stable. This no. is just bolted through there on a nice milled receiver here. Uh, you can see that it goes right through, full pick rail mm -hmm. on there, probably, and that's really was your selling point on this thing, wasn't it? You there wanted you know. an AK that you could throw reliable, stable optics on it. You got it, yeah. And what makes it reliable, um, as far as the upper, is that, the is that um, as opposed to an AK, this is uh, an upper, a lower receiver to where everything that has to do with your bullet is all attached to itself. So, um, other, other real big major positive, folding stock, which you can shoot folded. So, can you still operate the bulk carrier or the uh, the charging handle while it's locked? Oh, good deal, man. Yeah, because I've seen some hokey AK stocks that don't, you know, they interfere with that sort of thing. Not at six hour. Yeah. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it does look adjustable. It looks to me like uh, an adjustable pin back there. Well, the other ergonomic issue that this presents is the trigger is almost just vertical. It's not like, for example, a trigger like this, nice curve that your finger will rest in really comfortably. This, my finger was actually sliding up and down slightly on the trigger because there's not a curve that kind of hooks your finger and holds it in place. Was. Okay, one positive thing I will absolutely say about this trigger is that the reset on it is tiny. Really? Oh yeah. You don't need a whole lot? It's, I couldn't even tell. Really? That's good. That's good. Uh, I like short reset. One of the things that I noticed was that it comes with integral uh, sling mounts on there. So you're set up ready to go, whereas like ARs you typically have to buy sling attachment points for your weapon. Man, it's hot. Mm -hmm. um, also, at, like most uh, you know, 7.62 guns, this is not a direct impingement weapon. This is a gas-operated weapon, and it does have an adjustable gas block on it, should you decide to shoot subsonic ammunition or anything like that. Um, and, of course, you know, it, it is threaded for attachment of other muzzle devices. How the pumpkin. About that communist Russian jihadi piece of garbage? It's on fire. Did you see that? Did it just come out? It, it just unfolded on its own? Yep. Nice. You know what? Shit just breaks out here. 
Even AKs. Even AKs.